Hey everyone, it is Lori and I'm here to do your quick reading for you. I'm going to start with an oracle message, what your soul wants you to know. And you just drew the Believe card. The best is yet to come. All right, so that's your overall theme for this reading, to believe in the miracles that are about to come your way. We will pull another message at the end. Look at this. Your overall energy is the lover's card. Some of you do have a new person coming into your life, from, but for most of you, this energy is about you being in alignment, feeling peaceful with yourself. You're making healthy choices. Um, you're taking time to spend quality time with people. You're living in the moment. Beautiful energy there. Let's see what Spirit wants you to know today, okay? Let's see what Spirit wants you to know. Oh, I have a hair tickling my nose. There we go. <laughs> I think it's back. Uh, my, I think it's caught on my glasses. All right, let's see what Spirit would like you to know about your upcoming day here. What's going on? Ten of Pentacles. You have, you're going to enjoy this day. The whole day is going to be beautiful. You're going to be like, I can't believe that I can be this happy, that life can feel this good, that I can feel this connected to so many different people. This is awesome. Some of you are attending some sort of event, a wedding, family reunion, get together or something with people of like-mindedness okay and you're just going to be there and it's going to be awesome you are connecting on a very spiritual level here this is really woo, really beautiful all right let's see what we've got here the queen of cups your focus is about facing your fears um letting things go letting the past go and not worrying about whether somebody's going to hurt you or bring something up from the past be in the moment and enjoy the moment and then nobody can be thinking about the past yeah don't worry about things like that you, you just keep enjoying yourself okay have fun stay peaceful stay energized it may feel like people are watching you to see how you're going to respond. And that might be for a few of you. Because I'm getting in the past, you may have been prickly. You may have been a little bit fearful around these people. And people can tell when you're afraid of, the, of them or situations. Because you put off an energy of, like, don't come too close. Or when somebody starts to talk to you, you walk away. Or, you know, like... You get defensive, okay? And I think in the past, some of you may have had that energy, but I think people are seeing this calm, new, confident self that you're portraying out there You where you're just going with the flow. You're emotionally stable. Loving this. All right. So let's see what's happening with your, in the arena of love, family, romance, any portion of love, okay? However it comes out. However, it resonates with you. Let's see what's going on with the heart space. That's what we're going to call it. The heart space. All right. Some of you are losing sleep in a good, fun way. Others of you, you have some fears that are holding you back. Now I am getting a child might be having some sort of distress at night. Not necessarily nightmares. Just not sleeping well. I'm getting more like... They feel too warm, like it's sticky, it's humid, or there's a storm or something. This is not, it's fear, it, it's like, but it's more uncomfort, discomfort, at e, unease, okay? If this is a child around you, they feel uncomfortable. They just, yeah, they just are not comfortable. They need some comforting. Okay, if this is your energy, like I said, some of you are having um, sleepless nights because you're spending your time with somebody else that you're getting along very, very well with. However, there is an element here um, for some of you of being afraid to get involved again in a romantic relationship. 
You've got to change how you feel about that with that wheel of fortune on the bottom of the deck. And fortune says, as soon as you start thinking about it differently, you're turning the wheel in your favor. You just have to decide what it is you want, okay? You can overcome this with the Six of Wands. Absolutely, you can be successful. All right, let's mix those cards back up into the deck and see what we've got next. Let's go ahead and look at where your finances, money, your job, any of those things are. Where your Where is your pocketbook today? Okay. Where are you in career, money, finance, wealth? Let's take a look at that. Everything's moving along just as it should. Nothing's holding you back. Nothing's... Um, coming up in the future well there might be a stumbling block for a couple of you but that's all it is a stumbling block so like this right here with um your money your career something might be put on hold for just a, a day or two i'm hearing no big deal um if this is just about your money, you're solid, okay? You're firm, you're confident, you're capable. You might have an unexpected expense coming up, but if you plan ahead for this and see it coming, you'll be fine. So again, this, this is not necessarily truly unexpected. Like you've got a junk car and you know something is likely to go wrong with it. So if you just go ahead and put away a couple of dollars every week planning for it, you'll be fine when it comes up. But if you just ignore that big rock and keep your head up and you pretend like you don't see it, you're, yeah, it's going to cause a stumble. You'll recover from it. <clears throat> Okay, let's go ahead and see. I um, Spirit's asking me to give a card about health. Where are you <clears throat> mentally and physically with your health? Where are you mentally and physically with your health? Putting burdens down. Okay, so you're in a good place. Some of you still feel like you've got the weight of the world on your shoulders. Um, but I'm hearing that you're, you don't, you're, you, you realize that this is you holding on to something and you're about to let go. You're about to move away from it. Just like this person in this card is moving away from whatever is there. The burdens are going to be put down. Don't bring them with you. Use your head. Be smart. Be clever. Let it go. Learn the lessons from whatever this is. Okay, so I'm hearing something along the lines of you have been told, you have been told that you should not drink alcohol because it affects your blood sugar. Until you get your blood sugar down, you should not be drinking alcohol, okay? But are, are you learning that lesson? So some of you, you, you've heard the message. You've heard the message about your mental health. You've heard the message about your physical health. And you're taking action and you're putting the burden down. Those of you who are still carrying the weight of the world around is because you are choosing not to learn the lesson. So make sure that you are. And see, that will always leave you out in the cold, seeking sanctuary. Oh my gosh, I got to go back to the doctors. I got to go back to this. I got to go back. As soon as you realize that it's under your control, that you learn the lesson from whatever, um, whether it's a doctor or a therapist talking to you, once you hear and put into effect, really learn the lesson from what they're trying to tell you. And, and I will tell you, a lot of therapists don't tell you what to do. You have to figure that out for yourself. And that's the way it should be. Nobody should tell you what to do. They can give you suggestions on how to come to that, your conclusions, but not what to do. See, this is about you and self-care, self-respect, taking care of yourself, honoring yourself. Good for you. Okay, so it looks like most of you are in the right space here. Um, if you are wanting to have a child, now is a good time for that to happen. In fact, anyone going through in vitro can count on having at least four children. 
with a single birth or multiple births. But I am seeing four children for somebody in in vitro. Um, for the rest of you who are just, you know, doing normal things to have a baby, you're going to have a baby. You probably are going to have two. It's going to happen within the next uh, within the next year. Okay, so you are probably conceiving at this point. All right, let's go ahead and see what your outcome here is. What's the final word on life for today? Balance, harmony, peace, being in alignment, healing from past issues, letting things go, watching the miracles unfold. Look at this, and now you've got the two of cups on the bottom of the deck too. That is a beautiful ending right there. Beautiful ending. You start with the lovers and you end with the two of cups. So again, there could be a romantic partner coming in here for you. There is definitely soulmate energy coming through now. So if you're looking for a bestie, if you're looking for that right job, if you're looking for that balance in whatever it is, you're about to receive it with that temperance and the two of cups coming out like that. All right, let's see what else we have here for you. Spirit wants to give you an enchanted map oracle message. I hope you've been enjoying this message. If you are new here and this is reson or I hope you found something that's resonating with you. But I do want to say first, welcome, welcome. And uh, I hope you come back in the future. If you happen to be one of my returning viewers, which so many of you are, you know I love you guys to pieces. Either way, I appreciate each and every one of you for all the time you do spend here with me. Um, all the likes, the comments, the share, the subscribes to the channel. You know how it works. You guys are awesome. If you have not yet been to my new channel, Elemental Tarot, that is for all signs. Please go give that a check out if you want to learn more about um, the other placements in your chart. Or if you want to follow somebody else. Um, on there you can do that you have 23 the golden palace oh my goodness that is beautiful 23 is about making some sort of change uh, because it's a five okay so two and three is a five there is always enough this card says it represents good fortune ambitions that are fulfilled wealth and prosperity that could be coming to you it may also indicate emotional fulfillment, Nine of Cups energy, or just this feeling of connectedness here, okay? Oh, it may also indicate emotional, emotional, emotional fulfillment, as perhaps you're entering a time of happiness that is long overdue. And that's what I'm getting here. You finally got it on the same page with yourself, and you're not fighting yourself anymore, and you're moving into a beautiful place of happiness. The message here is that self-worth, the Queen of Pentacles energy, is not measured by what you have. Not, No matter how abundant your life is, no matter how much money you have, or whatever it is, instead it comes from what you are. How authentically you are living your life and how much love you are willing to give and receive. Balance, harmony, letting go of the burdens, sharing in the love and the energies with other people. Beautiful. Great. Uh, receiving this card can indicate material gain and a furthering of tangible rewards. Absolutely, which may happen here with this Ten of Pentacles, okay? Because you are in alignment. But things come and things go, and understanding your true value helps you helps lead you to an even greater riches now. Share the wealth, okay? So whatever type of happiness, abundance, prosperity, wealth, whatever it is, emotional satisfaction, share in that, okay? And it looks like most of you are going to do that. All right, until our energy crosses again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.